I tell you something. Starting from this month of May, you begin to reap the fruit of your labor. Listen, I began to cry and shout to the whole world. Sacrifice in the house of God this season. So, somebody has in need. Bless the needy by your side. Somebody has in need. Bless, bless, give. Anybody crying, if you have to give, if you have prostamol for yourself, and somebody is dying, give the person. I began from the one of this problem. I began to cry. Cry about it. Because I told you there will be a season of compensation. I said, do it now. Sacrifice in the house of God. Since everybody will tell you, oh, oh, the, keep the one you have, oh, don't release it. Don't release it. They are deceiving you. Those people shall come under you. There are too many people walking in the bus deceiving you, but today they've lost their jobs. We are not laughing at anybody. We are not happy, but I'm telling you that nobody knows tomorrow except God. Now, your foundation is the altar of God. Don't allow anybody to use human wisdom to take away the blessing of God from you. And I told us, sacrifice, draw your family closer to God. This season, I told us, be prayerful. I told us, help the needy, help the poor, help somebody crying. If you have three meals and somebody's crying, help the person. God will take care of the next day. Sacrifice, don't stop sacrificing in God's house. Don't listen to anybody that says, keep the word you have. Sacrifice, because a season of compensation is coming. The arrest, we are in the season of compensation. I don't care what the word is saying. I say what it tells me. And if you have followed my prophecies this season, you will know that I'm a prophet to the nations. If you follow my prophecies this season, I tell you what will happen, and that's exactly how God does it. I gave us date last Sunday, 27th, that from 28th, it will be the turn of America. Has America discovered or not? They discovered. 28, 29, they discovered. And it has been approved. Approved. I told us it is the season, the turn of America. And it will run to the 29th of May. And what they will get will be better than others because it will go to other parts of the world. Because they are going to help other people. And their own will be trusted more than any other person. Everyone coming out. And I told us God will visit other ones like Italy, Germany. He will visit them and also help them. And also help them. And good news are coming from everywhere, all over the world. And in Nigeria, Africa, everywhere, good news are coming. Now, listen, we are stepping today into the season of compensation. Everything you have done in the house of God, get ready. I don't know what they call their own, but what I'm telling you is what God is telling me. That viewers have been following me. We are stepping into the season of compensation. And I told you, as we step into May, go to my prophecies, they are online. The healing process will start. Countries will be emptied. Small, small. You just hear 800 healed, 700 healed, 1,000. I heard in a country where about 4,000 4, were discharged. Over 4,000 people were discharged in us. People will be discharged just like that. Beds shall become empty. We, we, we saw Kano, they had 80. The next day, Kano had 92. The third day, Kano had two. <laughs> Listen to me. All over the world right now, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, the healing power of God is free. We are stepping to May. I told you to run through May, through June, to June, to July. And by last Sunday in June, and last Sunday in July, 28th and 26th of July, respectively, that of June and July, we'll be having Thanksgiving. And it run through the second week of August. Churches will be giving thanks to God. But the season of surplus has come. The kind of blessing God will give you when others are crying, you'll be shocked. The kind of blessing God will give you when others are crying. I told God, I'm ready to empty all you have given me. I'm ready. I heard him. I'm ready. And I did not hold back anything. I obeyed him. I obeyed him. And listen to me. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, you that have given to God, and you are still giving some people are afraid. The little they had, they kept, they covered. But there are people busy giving out as if there is no tomorrow. Those people, God will be busy blessing them as if there is no tomorrow. Amen. Anywhere you are, the reach of my voice. God will bless you as if there is no tomorrow. Amen. We are entering into a new season. I was talking with my wife just a few minutes ago. I told her we are stepping into a new season. A new season. 
And God told me when you come to church and you see three people, preach to three people as if they are three million. It's a new season and you see surplus, you see embarrassment. You see surplus, you see embarrassment. A woman of God had a revelation where they loaded a house. All my people loaded a house after deliverance. They loaded a house or two houses, two rooms with Gary. And they asked, she asked me to take one. She took, I said, no, she, she, I took one, she took one. And the interpretation from her that the Gary represents multitude, uncountable. Gary, as you cannot count the Gary, that is how the house, if you were multitude of people, the, the work we're into is a work of faith, it's not a work of sight. If you listen to men of sight, they will discourage you. But men of faith will encourage you. I pray for you, we have entered, we entered into a season of faith. And I will work with men of faith. I will work with women of faith. I will work with everybody that has faith. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Stories will change. You will be compensated. Some people gave, have been given up from nothing. May heaven open and embarrass you. May heaven open and embarrass you. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. At the end of the day, you are going to be better than those who are doing their things. Write it down. That's what God told me. At the end of the day, you're going to be better than those who are hurting the, the much they have. You are giving the little you have. You are going to be far better. Watch out. I give you four months. I give you four months. I give you four months. Everything about you shall change. Just join me as we step into the new season. Because my God is about to embarrass you. My God is about to lift you beyond where you are. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. We go back to Daniel 2 to 1. And he changed the times and the season. He changed it. Number two, he removed kings and set it up kings. Listen to me. God is busy today removing kings and setting up kings. He's removing any king that is against us and we are taking over their place. Listen to me. I have people even in America, I have people in every part of the world who have been sophisticatedly part of what we are doing. Listen to me, the name of Jesus Christ in all parts of the world. Whatever and wherever you are, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, may God visit and embarrass you. Amen. Embarrass you. Amen. Embarrass you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. He removed kings and set it up kings. God is setting us higher. We are taking over as kings. We are being kings, royal priests. We are royal choice. Chosen generation. Peculiar people. He removed kings and set and set it up kings. He gave it wisdom unto the wise. Daniel 2 to 2. He gave it wisdom. Unto the wise, he giveth wisdom not to the foolish. He takes wisdom from the foolish ones and add to the wise, wise ones. He giveth wisdom unto the wise, not to the foolish ones. That is those that will say, "Eh, is it is it, is it a, our prophet? I will do it." Do. Well, I don't want to know where it's coming from. Is it the one I will do? That is wisdom, which is seen as foolishness over there. He will go to those that see it as foolishness, collect the one they have. I come and add to the one you have. Can I speak to somebody this morning? The ones they have who see us as foolish people, it shall be collected and added to us. I say it shall be collected and added to us. I don't know where you are listening from. I speak as a major prophet and I speak to you this morning in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Listen, by next Sunday, everything about righteous is changing. And I'm going to unveil, unveil a lot by next Sunday. Man, no konazanta krobaswa part of this commission watching from london or uk watching from from um from um, north america south america from africa from asia from europe anywhere in a precious time of jesus christ what god is doing here is for you maybe you're watching from far away australia new zealand the hand of god is coming upon you and what he's doing here he's doing in your life now in that precious name of jesus christ listen he's removes kings set up kings he gives it wisdom to the wise, give a wisdom and knowledge to them that know understanding. 
He's not giving knowledge to those who don't. He's giving wisdom to the wise. Giving knowledge to them that understand. When you speak, they don't want to know. They don't count laws. When you speak, they don't count laws. They see you as a representative of heaven. They see you as 2 Chronicles 20 20. 2 Chronicles 20 20. Believe in the Lord your God. You'll be established. Believe his prophet. You'll prosper. They say, As far as my prosperity is attached to I believe him. God, those that think they know, that's why you may be righteous and poor. That's why you see righteous, most righteous people are poor. Because they think everything ends in righteousness. No! The kingdom of God is in two folds. Number one is deliverance. Two, righteousness. That's holiness. Three, prosperity. If you abuse one, you will come under the carpets. You will remain there where those who understand and have little strength will be climbing. I pray for you today. Whatever you are, the reach of my voice. This morning, your life will never be the same again. You will never remain where you are in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that wherever you are, familiarity will not take away God's blessing from you. It will not take away God's blessing from you. You will follow the anointing. Because the anointing you follow will serve you. I pray for you. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. And may you never go down. May you never go down. May you never go down. If you really shout your amen very loud. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And he changed the times and the seasons. He removed kings and set up kings. He gave a wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that know understand them. May the Lord bless that of his word. See that I listen briefly. The Bible says, changing the times and the seasons. La Kona Zanta Braka Soko. Broko Soko. Hey, Lekata, you are about to break into a new season. Something bigger, for something outstanding, for something unique, for something glorious. You are about to break into a new season. L let me tell you how you are formed so you know who you give glory to. And when you know how you are formed, you'll be able to do anything God says you should do. Your richest gain, you will cut loss. Pour content on all your pride. Let me show you. The Bible says, you are clear. Clear. That's why when somebody dies, they say the person is going back to where the person came from. The Bible says, you are clear. And God breathed into man, and man became a living soul. Genesis 2 7. Man became a living soul. A living soul. But today's translation says, a man became a speaking spirit. Man became a speaking spirit. But this is not you. The real you is the spirit that speaks. The real you is the spirit that speaks. That is why if your life is bad, the spirit that speaks can change it. If your hand is bad, the spirit that speaks can change it. If any part of you is bad, the spirit that speaks can change it. To the name of Jesus Christ, every part of you that needs change, may the spirit in you that speaks change it. Adam gave birth to his father. I've talked about this before. Adam gave birth to his first child and called the name Cain. And Cain means possession acquired. Possession acquired. And Adam gave birth to the second one and gave the name Abel. And Abel means bread, vapor. Bread, bread, and at something happened. Possession killed bread. Ten killed Abel. They didn't plan to have another one. They decided to have another child. They decided to have another, and they had that child and called the name Seth. They called the name Seth, and Seth means compensation. Seth means comp. Listen to me. In this season of compensation, my God is going to compensate to beyond their widest dream. He's going to compensate to beyond their widest dream. If you bring a letter, amen, be very loud. 
I said, my God is going to compensate you beyond your wildest dream. Everything they have stolen from you or you have lost, you are going to be compensated. I said, you are going to be compensated. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm here to prophesy, it doesn't matter what they took away from you, it doesn't matter what you have lost. In the custom of Jesus Christ, this is a season of compensation. And my God shall compensate you. This is a season of supernatural compensation. Your compensation shall come from above. I see it shall come from above. In the name of Jesus Christ. No need to panic. No need to be afraid. Because God will compensate you. And he will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you know one thing? Seth said something that they killed and they killed Abel. And the way they killed Abel the way they killed him. That nobody will kill him. That Abel was a giver, but not a prayer man. We be both a giver and a prayer man. What does that mean? Abel was a giver, but not sophisticatedly connected. But said, said, I'm going to be a giver and I'll be sophisticatedly connected. I'll be prayerful and I'll be connected. Ladies and gentlemen, there are certain things your prayers alone cannot do for you, but their connections will do. There are times they summon you to an altar, like they summon some people. I told them this on a dangerous altar. And when the meeting began, I was seated there with them. One of them stood up and said, Never. You're not meant to be here. I said, Send me away now. Tell a leader to send me away. I'm here. That is why when you are sophisticatedly connected, there are certain altars that will reject you. When you cannot, when they invite you, they go there, punish you, you come out. Do you know there are some people that see favor? They don't, they don't embrace favor. The worst thing about you as a man or woman is to see favor. You can't enjoy favor. You see opportunity. When somebody is about to help you, you will do something that made the person to hate you. That's a very, it's manipulation for the kingdom. You think it's you, it's not you, it's manipulation. Somebody has come up and said, I'm going to help this person. When the person is about to do it, you just that will manifest. You, mis you just misbehave like a mad person. Like somebody has been remoted. And immediately you lose the person, your eyes will open. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that has been manipulated and remoting you negatively today, I cast such out. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Abel was a giver, but not a prayer man. But this one said, I will be a prayer man and I'll be a giver. Abel was a giver, but not a prayer man. But I'm going to initiate prayer. I'm going to initiate men to pray. Say, say I will initiate men to pray. Amen. The importance of God, the house of God. The importance of doing business, but when it's time for God, you drop everything. I've given God his time. God doesn't joke with such people. When it is time for God, you drop everything and give God his time. I am here to tell you in this season of competition, receive the fire of prayer. Receive the fire of prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are a religious person, this season will not bless you. If you are a religious person, this season will not bless you. Because this season will bless spiritual people, not religious people. God doesn't want to see religious people. They may do anything, but this season may not bless them. A lot of people have been in this season for a very long time. The only thing they hear is what they want to hear. And what they have been told that will change them, they don't want to hear. They have been busy hearing people's testimonies, but nothing is happening to them. Some Israelites were like that. The reason the Bible said that they lack the true God. The reason the Bible said that some Israelites were like that because the Israelites, and I thought some of them lack the true God. Yes, we know they know God. They know God, but they like the true God. The Bible, say, the Bible did not say they lacked God because they were Israelites, but they lacked the true God. They lacked the true God. Let me give you some tips. Let me give you some tips. Before we conclude, let me give you some tips. There is a thin line between intimate with God and missing God. Very tiny line. Intimate and missing there is a difference between a tiny line between intimate with God and missing God. I'm intimate with God. I'm missing Him. You are missing God. You think you are doing the right, but I'm missing Him. You ask and receive God because you ask and miss. He 
is a tiny line between intimacy and missing God. It's a tiny line. If you must worship the true God as a Christian, number one, if you must worship the true God as a Christian, number one, you must be spiritual, not religious. You must be spiritual. Viewers all over the world, take your Bible and paper or record message. You listen to it over and over again because it has a lot to do for you in this season of compensation. Number one, you must be spiritual and not religious. One of the problems in the church today is religiosity, not spirituality. Religiosity. Religiosity has a lot of regulations, but spirituality has a lot of leading. Religiosity has a lot of regulation, regulations, and spirituality has a lot of leading. A young lady came to me and told me that do I know why? Do I know why? She started covering her hair and dressing. I said, I, I don't know. Please, can you tell me? You have a character? You say no. Came to church and he saw my wife. He saw how my wife dresses and she liked it. She went to market and bought something and covered everywhere, covered her, almost her nose. I see we had coronavirus. As a time. She covered everywhere, covered, yeah, covered everywhere, covered everywhere, and uh, removed everything. She didn't even have reason. No encounter with God. No encounter with God. And I told her, but yeah, I don't doing this, doing this now. You told me to help you deliver you from this. You are doing this. So, are, are you born again? Say, no, I'm not born, but I want to be. And you are starting covering. I told the person, it is in the covering, it's in the encounter. Let God lead you. You have a counter. Then you do it and it will work. There are other people who may not cover, but they are also they have a counter. And I told this lady when she came to me. I told her what to do. There is not a covering because if you go to the north, you will see the people they, 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 they don't just cover the hair and nose only. They even cover their whole body. And it doesn't make them pure. It doesn't make them pure. Religiosity has to do with regulations. Don't do this. 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 If you are coming to preach by six and the Spirit of God says stop, pray for somebody here now in the church. You are about to pray for a person. If you don't pray, a person will die. You just say the name of Jesus Christ. It crosses a minute after six. You say, oh, let me be there by that exactly that six so that they will not say regulations. But spirituality has to do with leading. In season of compensation, may God lead us. Everything we are doing in this commission is by leading. And the season we are entering now is going to be a season of unusual leading. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. It didn't say as many. The Bible did not say as many as receive him. I mean, as many as are regulated. No. It didn't say as many as are regulated by law. No. But as many as are led. As many as to them, he give part of the source of God. As many as are led by the Spirit of God. Everything is the Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Spirit of God leading you. Not as many as are regulated by law. It says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God. As many as are led by the Spirit of God. And everybody who wants to understand Bible-based holiness, we know that purity of the end time is beyond the Ten Commandments. Purity of the end time is beyond the Ten Commandments. There are certain things who concentrate on and they are forgetting the others. Religion has entered the church. Religion has entered the church and today we will crush it out. Witchcraft, marine, they all hide under the guise of religion. And in the name of Jesus Christ, in this commission, anywhere where such want to come in, God shall crush it out. When God wanted to talk about heaven, in Matthew chapter 5, 
when God wanted to talk about in Matthew chapter 5, he said, except a righteousness is seed, the righteousness of the Pharisees, you will not see the kingdom of heaven. Can I shock you? Today, religion is to be like the Pharisees. Religion is today to be like the Pharisees. When you are like the Pharisees, is religion. Because the Pharisees are separated people. But instead of them to be separated spiritually, they, are, they were separated physically. Instead of them to be separated spiritually, they were separated physically. Matthew 23. The things that will take people to hell fire are more of the sins of the spirit. Overcome different things like stealing, idolatry, adultery, everything. But 95% of people still have envy. That's what I want to bring up for prayer. Envy. You see some places, you see pastors envy, pastors, sisters envy, sister, brothers envy, brother, department and colleague and colleagues at children of God. If you want to be free, you ask God to lead you today. And as God leads you, everything about you will change. I say everything about you will change. In the precious name of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 19 verse 12, the Bible talks about Enoch. So we are born Enoch, so we are made Enoch by men. So about this is where our prayer is going to concentrate today. So we are made Enoch, so made themselves Enoch. And also dictionary define it as castrated. Enoch as someone that has been castrated. Let them labor and no favor. That's what it means. Enoch, you have no blessing, you have no favor. Some people what they are going through today, they cost it by themselves. Some others cost it. Some devil cost it. God began to um, define it that there are some that are enoughs by men, by God, by themselves. But let me just quickly rush through this. They will pray. The first category are those that became enoughs from their mother's womb. And yesterday, or two days ago, I preached on two locations the devil attacks. In the womb at, and the world of women, marriage. So we are Enoch from the mother's womb. What I'm going through today began from their mother's womb. I'm going to handle that. And we're Enoch by themselves. Enoch, maybe what you did in ignorance is what is causing you sorrow today. But we'll handle it. There are Enoch by men. Enoch by men. The Enoch from the womb represents foundational problems. Foundational problems. Enoch from the womb represent foundational problem. Anything you have foundation as Enoch from the womb. Foundational problems. Enoch from the womb. Ladies and gentlemen, it is your root that determines your fruit. It is your root that determines your fruit. And I'm going to go through root now and uproot any plant which my heavenly father did not plant. Any tree. Nothing sponsors stagnation like foundation. Nothing sponsors stagnation like foundation. Nothing empowers frustration like foundation. You are family to get married is a problem. And you think they will fold their hands and watch you get married. If you are not careful, you become a victim. That's why today we are going to handle that case under a few seconds. Your case will be different. You have to pray and join in this prayer because you may take you what will take you one year to pray in the name of Jesus can take us one minute to pray for you. And your story changes now. That's why you need to connect here. Instead of wasting one year, two years, praying on a particular thing, this moment, it will be settled. Anything that becomes a pattern in your family should begin to disturb you. Should become your number one prayer point. Don't relax. Don't relax. Listen, anything you have prayed and prayed for and it's still happening is a foundational problem. And it will be settled now. Now listen, when you have a foundational problem, don't stress yourself. When you have discovered this problem in your life, it's a foundational problem. Don't stress yourself. Carry seed. Carry seed. You are praying for three years. Pray for four years. Pray for one year. The problem is still there. You are saying, God, you know my heart. God, you know my Carry seed. Say, God, this seed is for this reason. And drop the seed and see what happens. And see what happens. Imagine your grandfather killed a cow to keep your family in bondage. You are going to the altar to break the guy. You are going with the cow. You are only going to oil the foundational problem to continue. 
When you go there, you carry something that will touch you and the yoke will be broken. I don't care what they have done against you. But I'm standing in the gap because the Bible says, I search for a man. Among them that will make up the hedge and stand in the gap. I'm standing in that gap today. And whatever they've done against you, this day shall be cancelled. It shall be cancelled. Some became know by men. Which means they are what they are today by the wickedness of men. It was the hand of men that caused the problem. Do you know every projection always comes from the, from the first son? If you are the first son, there is something you need to do at home. If you are the first daughter, every projection. And once they succeed in that, they begin to affect others. Anybody that believes that foundation can't hold a man, that person is already held by foundation. You say foundation cannot hold me. You're already held by foundation. Because this is scriptural. This is scriptural. As you come to church with picture, I say, oh God, I take this picture. I pray for this person. Pray for this man. Pray for my husband, uh, my, my son's wife, my daughter's husband. I, I pray for, oh Lord, I pray for my daughter's um, child. I pray for, that, is, that is how they are carrying their own picture to native daughters. That's how people are carrying their pictures about to awkward homes. But under one minute, it shall be settled. I say it shall be settled. It shall be settled. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't, there are some people who will not change. Because Hamans don't repent. They die. Hamans don't repent. They die. Upon everything that happened to Haman, Modesta, Haman was still stubborn until he died. So people like him don't repent. They die. The Bible says there are people whose hearts have been sealed with hot iron. Hot iron. Any man or woman, how about this? That, had, that has hand in your matter. Oh God, I hand over to you. I hand over to you. Stand up wherever you are. Let's go to God in prayers. Stand up wherever you are. Any man or woman that has heart in your matter, I hand over to you. Oh God, I hand over to you. Any man or woman that has hand in your matter, Kola Baba Baba. Zeket, open your matter, begin to pray. Open your matter, begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ah, mado ko na na na. Hey hey. Ibraka sakata. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Nako ko ko ba 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 ba. Open your mouth and pray. Kazaka to proko sokoto. Lika braka sakata. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name. Beloved, I've been praying for yourself. Let me pray for you. Two prayer points I'm going to handle. Number one, ask the Lord to show you mercy. Ask him to forgive you anywhere you have sinned against him. Ask him to show you mercy. He will forgive you. All things pass away, everything becomes new. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to show you mercy. Ask him to show you mercy. Ask him to show you mercy. As the Lord to show you mercy. As the Lord to show you mercy. Sakato ko sakata. As him to show mercy to the church. God is doing it now. God is doing it now. Ask him to show you mercy. Ask him to show us mercy. In Jesus' name. Father, forgive everyone who has sinned against you. For many part of the world, where they're watching from now, from this altar to any part of the world, show them mercy. Forgive and cleanse all. Thank you for the answer. The precious name of Jesus Christ. Now I pray for you, quietness everywhere, in your house, in your sitting room, in your bedroom, in your car. Only if you're driving, don't close your eyes. But connect. Just be listening to the prayers and instructions. If you're in your room, that's a church for you now. If you're sitting in your room, that's a church for you now. If you're in your office, just give God this short moment. It's a church for you. I want to pray for you and let God deliver you from what you have been praying for. Ask Him for mercy. And on your own, you will carry seed. I'm going to pray for marriages now. I'm going to pray for businesses, career. 
and you will carry seed you will take seed you will connect right now in the name of Jesus I stand in the gap because it is written I sought for a man among them that will make up the hedge and stand or not destroy it I found none but today I stand in that gap it is written he made known his ways unto Moses and his act to the people Father, today I volunteer to stand in the gap because you have asked me to do. I have said, I have again and again and again, and I decree everyone connected to me. I don't know the sacrifice that is speaking against you, I don't know the foundational problem that's speaking against you, I don't know the man that has done anything against you, I don't know what you have even done against yourself. Whatever sacrifice I connect you right now through your sacrifice, and I decree your yeah, amen will do a lot. I decree today that yoke is broken. It could be what is affecting your wife, what is affecting your husband, it could be what is affecting your kids, it could be what is affecting your company. It could be what's affecting your business. It could be what's affecting your career. It could be what's affecting your health. It could be what's affecting you, your spiritual life. Any sacrifice that was made that you will not marry, or that if you marry, you will divorce, or that if you marry, you will die, or if you marry, you will not have your children, or that if you marry, you will suffer, if you marry, you become poor, or that people will hate you. Any sacrifice of men that you will see favor you don't enjoy it men will love you after a short while they hate you for life any sacrifice that was made that the people that are running around you are only evil people people that destroy you good people will run away from you is a is, is is a bad thing any sacrifice that was made every friend you call to you get to with your mind you get close to with your mind don't start to be evil hey any sacrifice that says you don't carry the fruit of the womb any sacrifice that says your business will never grow beyond this level. Any sacrifice that says your company will never have connection to this level. Any sacrifice that says you will never achieve that you are desiring. Or that makes your head to be deteriorating. That makes your head to be going down. That makes your life, your spiritual life to be dead. Every sacrifice that says people will die young, dead at this age, dead at this age. Every sacrifice, mentioned and unmentioned, but have been troubling you. And my God did not plant it. I have put it now. 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 Anybody you love, mention the name of the person. He shall locate the person right now. Viewers over the world. Anybody you love, mention the name of the person. He shall locate the person right now. Any family you love, mention the family. I have put it now. 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 Evil family pattern. I have put it. This man died through this sickness. In your family, the other one died through the same sickness, and that one died, and you are afraid now. Hey, I separate you. I separate you. I separate you. I have put it now. What kill your father shall not kill you? What kill your brother shall not kill you? What kill your uncle shall not kill you? What kill your sister shall not kill you? What kill your friend shall not kill you? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That pro have been waiting and delaying that promotion, that next level. Hey, anytime it wants to come, the sacrifice has pushed against it today. I approve that sacrifice. I approve that sacrifice. I approve that sacrifice. I approve that, that sacrifice in the name of Jesus Christ. God will enter push into your season of compassion. This is a season of compensation. That womb they have removed and it's hanging somewhere. I replace. The, with, a, with a, a brand new womb from above right now you will carry a baby you will carry a baby that right man for you will look at you that right woman for you will look at you receive the name of jesus receive the name of jesus receive the name of jesus royal choice a new life anyone that have done anything against royal choice let it come upon your head let it come upon your head because royal choice has entered into a season of compensation supernatural season of compensation a season of supernatural compensation 
your life has entered into a season of spiritual competition. You will not be the same again. You will not be the same again. That financial problem is over. It's over. Anything any man has done against you is over. It shall come upon the hem. The hammers that don't want to change shall die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. The one I caused for myself is settled now. I have put it now. It's settled now. My life has changed. Your lives have changed. A new thing has come. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Within 48 hours from today, wherever you are, you will seal it with a seed. Within 48 hours from now. So whatever sacrifice was made will be settled. Within 48 hours from this moment, you will seal this freedom with a seed. This is only for those who have entered into a season of supernatural compensation.